The engagement between Ministry of ICT and National Guidance, Business Process Outsourcing Council and the private sector is intended to create a direct linkage between potential job seekers and potential employers. Hold hands to ensure that we strengthen the ecosystem of the innovators and also the ecosystem of business process outsourcing. Business Process Outsourcing Council leadership has pledged to establish a database for talented and skilled human resource for private sector to tap in. How many people are skilled, for example, to work in this industry? If you are talking about the agricultural industry, how many people are skilled and we will have a database so that the private sector will have now access to this database. Currently in Uganda we do not know how many people are unemployed, how many people are in the country, how many people have left, but we will have now an opportunity. Private sector is appealing to government for significant incentives, especially internet, to enhance interoperability of entities. Most time we find that spending that amount of money to, 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 to upskill, to upgrade the skills of, 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 of our of, of, of the talents that we have to do the work is, 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 a, is, is a big expense and there is no incentive. Is we need to coordinate and, and create a direction for the private sector. And, and policy like, policy, policies like this are very instrumental because they give direction. And then three is, is an agenda. What is, what is our agenda as a country and in which areas of the BPO verticals are we going to focus on? The Ministry of ICT and National Guidance through outsourcing policy is set to skill people according to the level of qualification to make them labor market ready. What BPO is going to do, BPO Council, is to organize, procure the relevant skill developers that they are able to standardize train people. So that when you are training people to work, say, in the oil industry, they are different from those who are going to work in the industry for, say, value addition for agriculture. It's really important that we also involve this talent that has already been practicing in a way, because what, that's going to show you the insight of their pain points that they've been finding. So uh, a company that is working with coding, for example, they've been, you know, maybe supplying in India. What has been their challenges there that can be addressed by this BPO policy, for example? The business process outsourcing sector is faced with challenges of high cost of training, labor competitiveness, high rate of labor mobility and turnover. Mariana Wari and Abdunasir Lubwama for UBC News.